You know, when you hear about the Obama administration's big push on stimulus programs to upgrade our nation's infrastructure, most of us might think that it's all about building or fixing up the roads and bridges, but there's a lot more to it than that. And our next guest is going to tell us about those kinds of things that many of us can be doing, certainly designers are involved in, among others. The Senior Manager for Sustainable Analysis Products with Autodesk is John Kennedy. Hey, John, how are you? Good, Dave. Thank you very much for having me. Already. Pleasure to have you with us. First of all, can you please explain what green building is, especially as it is applied to new buildings or retrofit projects? Because I know we're going to get into some of that. Right, sure. Well, a, a green building is essentially a, a building that we occupy today, except it's better. And how it's better is it's a more comfortable building, it's a healthier building for the occupants, while at the same time it's using much less energy, much less water use, and the materials are specifically put in place so they are um, uh, essentially low-impact materials, both for the occupants but all the way going back to when, when those materials were refined mm. uh, from raw materials and things of that nature. So the, it, when we talk about retrofitting a building to make it green or more green, there are many elements involved. It's not just a matter of uh, putting solar tinting on the windows or something like that. You can get right down into the whole infrastructure of the building. Yeah, de 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 depending on the budget that the owner has, it can be just a simple lighting retrofit all the way to a full you know, gut and rehab where they're really going aggressive to make the building as energy efficient, water efficient as possible at the same time making it much more comfortable for the occupants. And of course a lot of folks talk in terms of retrofitting and, and dealing with energy savings and so forth before the government mandates certain things. That it's better if industry just kind of does it on their own, but yet the government is certainly pushing greener buildings. So what, what's the thrust there? Do you think it's a matter of a push before it becomes regulated or just in general let's get more green? I think it's in general what uh, uh, some early adopter owners have realized over the past decades, it's, it's a great investment, that it's one of the best investments they can make in their building with very attractive ROIs, you know, most of them are above 10%. Wow. So in today's world, that's, that's an excellent thing for them to be doing with their money for sure. in terms of investing in their portfolio buildings. What the government has recognized is it's a smart investment for a multitude of reasons. Uh, those reasons include that it creates jobs. It stimulates not only the local economy from the construction workforce who's going to be hired to renovate and retrofit that building, but all the products and materials that those contractors are going to be putting in the building are stimulate the manufacturing sector, which uh, um, is in need of being stimulated today sure. throughout these sectors. So, so it's a multitude of things, and ultimately it's going to save energy bills in the building and water bills in the building and increase the rates of that space so the owner can charge more but it costs less for the occupants and the owner to run that building so those cost savings actually pay for any money associated with any government stimulus program in terms of the taxes on the labor to do this or the products and material purchases to do that so any stimulus money the government puts out is going to come back in the form of taxes mm -hmm. while creating uh, sustainable jobs for this new economy that we're entering. And it sounds like a couple of good examples of how today's software is actually helping in many ways architects, engineers, anyone involved with that infrastructure for a building to help retrofit for being more green. That's, that's exactly right. Today, Autodesk has a variety of products to simplify this. So in, in years past, it was very difficult to figure out what to do to a building, what are the cost-effective things to do, and it typically was only the largest buildings that that was applied to because it was so expensive. And, and what we have today is Autodesk Revit, Autodesk Ecotech Analysis, which brings that down to where they can um, cost-effectively do that and do tens of millions of buildings more mm -hmm. through this process, which is what we need to do today. And I think early on, maybe some building owners would kind of panic about retrofit. You know, I mean, it cost a fortune to put the building up to begin with. Now what do you want me to do? But when they realize that there are many things that are not only affordable, but become much more cost effective 
to be making these retrofits. And if it means helping your tenants, let alone your, whatever money you're spending on the building, there are win-win situations here to take advantage of. Absolutely. The software allows them to get to those uh, low-lying fruit much quicker, understand the paybacks associated with that, and then the government programs essentially gives them the money to really accelerate that. And real quick, do you think we're kind of dragging our feet on it, or are we on target to make these things happen uh, in a reasonable amount of time? I think given the, the crises that we have today, I think we're, we're on target. You know, everyone would like to see this go faster and see more jobs created sooner. So I think there's a bit more that uh, everyone could be doing to get this going. Excellent. Well, check out John's site in particular at autodesk.com slash government for a lot of the details of what we talked about and then some. There's a whole lot more that you guys are working on that we didn't have time to talk about. But John Kennedy, thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at AU. My pleasure, Dave. Very, very nice to be here.